So this is a video over IP setup that I just quickly wanted to demonstrate. On the left hand side we've got the client which is currently running the video um, over IP client window. And on the right hand side we've got a server that has a few videos on it that I'll be using to demonstrate. The first thing I do on the video over IP client is I provide the IP address of the destination that I want to connect to and I hit the connect button. And simple as that you see that the exact same screen that is uh, on the right hand side is now appearing on the left as well. So over here I have access to all the usual Windows applications. I actually had a video running that I'm uh, loading up here on uh, Windows Media Player. You see that the Windows Media Player is pretty much in full screen mode at the time and uh, the frame rate is actually quite good. If you compare it with RDP or any of the other accelerated protocols you'll find that this performance is, uh, is actually quite good. Um, in many cases, uh, you know, it's basically the equivalent of a local PC uh, running a, a video window. If I minimize or make this video window a little bit smaller, you'll actually find that the performance will automatically begin to scale and will become uh, even faster. And obviously this is happening because video over IP makes use of a um, differencing protocol and a differencing algorithm that only transmits changes that have occurred on the uh, source and only sends those out to the destination. Now you would think that these machines are actually very high performance or very fast machines. Uh, that's really not the case. Let me load up uh, the My Computer view over here. You'll see in the, I'm sorry, needed to do a right click here. Uh, go into the properties box and you'll see that these systems are actually single core so they're not dual core systems and this is the host system uh, the local system is actually uh, an even slower machine also single core uh, video over IP is also capable of running on uh, virtual machines. Uh, it can actually remote out the display from a virtual machine. And it's also capable of multi-monitor operation. So I can actually do a dual monitor, uh, either a dual to dual or even a dual to single where the host side has two displays and the client side only has uh, one monitor. Um, you'll see it's compatible with pretty much all the usual applications. Uh, I don't need any codecs locally. Um, I can basically just rely on the host to render all my video. There are many remoting solutions that make use of uh, uh, local and remote codecs because essentially they're redirecting the video and not actually doing pure remoting. But you'll see in this case all these applications continue to work. And if you weren't looking at the right hand side where you'll see a little bit of a lag, a few milliseconds that it takes to send the data across the network. Once things buffer and once things start to function and you just focus on the client, you'll find that actually the video frame rate and the performance is indistinguishable from uh, what you would see if you were using a dedicated PC. So that is video over IP for you from VDI Works.